lesson, we will learn how to name different types of triangles and also determine the measure of a missing interior angle of a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided polygon, but there are different types of triangles. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all three sides the same length and all three angles the same measure. Here's an isosceles triangle. Notice all three sides have two tick marks, indicating all three sides have the same length. And notice all three interior angles have one tick mark, indicating all three interior angles have the same measure. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two sides the same length and with the angles opposite the equal sides having the same measure. This is an isosceles triangle. Notice how two of the sides have one tick mark, indicating these two sides have the same length. Notice the interior angles opposite these two sides have two tick marks, indicating these two angles have the same measure. This is an isosceles triangle. A scalene triangle is a triangle with no sides the same length and no angles the same measure. This is a scalene triangle. Notice how none of the sides have tick marks and therefore we assume all three sides have different lengths. And notice how none of the interior angles have any tick marks and therefore we assume all three interior angles have different measures. A right triangle is a triangle that contains exactly one right angle. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are called legs. This is a right triangle. It contains a one right angle. The two sides that form the right angle are called the legs and the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side in any right triangle. And then finally, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So for this triangle, the measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Y plus the measure of angle Z equals 180 degrees. Let's look at some questions. We're asked to classify each triangle as equilateral, isosceles, or scaling. Looking at the first triangle, notice how all three sides have different lengths and therefore this is a scaling triangle. We also know all the interior angles have different measures. In B, notice how all three sides of the triangle have the same length and therefore this is an equilateral triangle. Because all three sides are the same length, we also know all of the interior angles have the same measure. And then finally for C, notice how two of the sides have one tick mark, indicating two of the sides have the same length, and therefore this is an isosceles triangle. Because this is an isosceles triangle, we also know the interior angles opposite these two sides have the same measure. Now for the next question, we're asked to find the measure of the missing angles. So remember that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So looking at A, we're given two of the three interior angles of the triangle and therefore the measure of angle C plus 93 degrees plus 37 degrees must equal 180 degrees. And therefore, to determine the measure of angle C, we begin with 180 degrees subtract 93 degrees and then subtract 37 degrees. 180 minus 93 minus 37 equals 50 and therefore the measure of angle C is 50 degrees. Notice the next triangle is a right triangle. This square indicates this angle measures 90 degrees and therefore the measure of angle 3 plus 53 degrees plus 90 degrees must equal 180 degrees and therefore the measure of angle 3 must equal the total of 180 degrees minus 53 degrees minus 90 degrees. 180 minus 53 minus 90 is equal to 37 and therefore the measure of angle 3 equals 37 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.